very good morning students so today we are taking up a very important topic in paramecium that is the reproduction so paramecium divides basically by five types of reproduction methods first is binary fission second is the conjugation third is the autogamy fourth is the cytogamy and fifth is endomixis so these are the five methods of reproduction in paramecium so we will be taking up one by one before starting the binary fission i must explain to you the number of the nuclei in the paramecium caudatum as we have studied in the structure of paramecium paramecium caudatum has got two nuclei one is macronucleus and one is micronucleus so as described earlier only the micronucleus is involved in reproduction macronucleus is involved in other metabolic processes so here we are emphasizing much on the micronucleus you can see both the nuclei in the very first diagram and if you see the diagram second one the small micronucleus is dividing mitotically whereas the larger nucleus the macronucleus is dividing amitotically so this is a very important difference amitosis is the division of the nucleus without the formation of spindle and whereas mitosis mitosis literally means the formation of spindle so here a mitosis it is occurring in macronucleus and micro is dividing by mitosis so the division of micronucleus involves all the phases of cell division just like prophase metaphase anaphase telophase uh, but these phases are absent in the macronucleus division because it is dividing by a mitosis so in the third figure you can see the micronucleus is dividing by formation of spindle and the macronucleus has got a constriction in the center and it is dividing simply into two so in the fourth diagram you can well see both the nuclei they have divided and they have shifted in different cells the contractile vacuoles they also appear in the new individuals so at last in the e diagram so both the paramecia they have separated here one thing is to be noted that the paramecium which has been made from the anterior end it is called as proter and the paramecium the daughter paramecium which has been uh, formed from the posterior end is called as opisthe so this is the binary fission so it is making two paramecia at the end from the one parent paramecium the second method of reproduction is the conjugation so paramecium it joins another paramecium which are called as conjugants to undergo this process and this process is very very important as per the number of the population is concerned as the two conjugants or the two parent paramecia they can give rise to eight daughter paramecia in this particular type of reproduction so to increase their number they prefer to go for conjugation so it is a union of two individuals that's why it is also considered to be as the sexual reproduction so here two paramecia of same species they join together and they exchange their nuclear material also so that's why it is a true kind of sexual reproduction now about the process two paramecia or two individuals which are called as preconjugants they come in contact ventrally and they unite by their oral groups so the pellicle and the ectoplasm it degenerates at the point of the contact 
and a protoplasmic bridge is formed. So this is the process of joining together. Now they are considered to be as the conjugates. Now first of all the macronucleus it disintegrates and one micronucleus it divides into four with the help of meiosis. So in this diagram you can see the formation of four daughter micronuclei. So these four nuclei they are all haploid. Now after this out of four three micronuclei they disintegrate and only one is left. Now this one micronucleus it undergoes mitosis to form two micronuclei. Now out of these two micronuclei one micronucleus it grows in size and it forms a bigger macronucleus which is called as the stationary nucleus and the smaller nucleus is called as the migratory nucleus. So the migratory as the name suggests it will migrate to the another paramecium through the protoplasmic bridge. So the migratory nucleus it goes to the second paramecium and it fuses with the nucleus of the second paramecium. So it results in the formation of a syncreon. Syncreon is a nucleus which is formed by the fusion of two different cells. So this is also called as a zygote nucleus. So after this the two conjugates they separate out. Now we are starting with a single separated out conjugant. Now this separated individual is called as X conjugant. Now it has got a syncreon which divides by mitosis three times. So that means in the first mitosis it will form two nuclei. Then the second mitosis it will form four nuclei. And in the third mitosis it will give rise to eight nuclei. Now out of these eight nuclei four they grow in size. And out of these smaller nuclei, three disintegrate and only one is left. Now, this one micronucleus, it divides again mitotically and it forms two micronuclei. Now, the cell divides and it forms two cells with two macronucleus and a single micronucleus. Again, the micronucleus, it divides into two and cell again divides into four cells. So it gave rise to four paramecia with one macronucleus and a single micronucleus. So that means one X conjugant it give rise to four daughter paramecia. So as we had two X conjugants so now we had eight paramecia which are formed as a result of this particular process. So this is a very important process as two parent conjugants they are giving rise to eight daughter paramecia. So that was about the process of the conjugation. Third type of the reproductive process is the autogamy. So it is found in paramecium aurelia. So this is a point to note that this is not found in paramecium caudatum but it is found in the species aurelia and paramecium aurelia has got two micronuclei and one macronucleus. So we will start with one macro and two micronuclei. Now here the process involves the same steps as we had followed in conjugation. So first of all the macronucleus it gets disintegrated. The two micronuclei they divide first of all by meiosis. This is the same process as in conjugation. So first division is meiosis. They give rise to eight cells as one micronucleus will give rise to four cells and two will give rise to eight cells. 
Now out of these eight micronuclei, only one is left and seven are disintegrated. So the paramecium is left only with the two one micronucleus. Now this micronucleus undergoes mitosis to form two nuclei. So these two nuclei, these are very very important and they fuse together in the same individual. So that's why it is called as autogamy. So autogamy means fusion of two gametes in the same single paramecium. So this gives rise to the synchreon and this synchreon it divides again by mitosis twice to give rise to four micronuclei. Out of these four micronuclei two grow in size and they form macronuclei. After this the micronucleus it undergoes mitosis again to form four micronuclei and two macronuclei. After this the cell divides and it forms two daughter paramecia. So this particular process of autogamy it results in the formation of two daughter paramecia in case of paramecium aurelia from a single parent. Now the fourth type of reproductive process is the cytogamy. This is again considered to be as a sexual process but this is not a true kind of sexual process and this cytogamy is without any nuclear exchange. The process of cytogamy is very very comparable to the conjugation as it involves the temporary fusion of two paramecia, the conjugants, but there is no nuclear exchange between the individuals. Now here the individuals are called as cytogamonts, they are not called as conjugants. So here two haploid gamete nuclei in each individual they fuse to form a synchreon. So this is the difference in between cytogamy and conjugation otherwise the whole process is the same. The fifth type of reproductive process is the endomixis. Now endomixis is again seen in paramecium aurelia. So here again we have to start with one macronucleus and two micronuclei. So first of all the macronucleus disintegrates so we are left with two micronuclei so these undergo mitosis so here it is not undergoing meiosis so this is the difference so here it undergoes mitosis to form four micronuclei and these four micronuclei again undergoes mitosis to form eight micronuclei so these eight micronuclei out of these six are disintegrated and two are left now the cell divides into two and each cell has got a single micronucleus it again divides by mitosis two times to form four micronuclei each in the two paramecia out of these four two they grow in size to form macronuclei and the micronuclei again divide to form four micronuclei and the cell divides again to form four daughter paramecia each having one macronucleus and two micronuclei so these are all the paramecium aurelia so this is again a very important type of reproduction as a single individual can give rise to four daughter paramecia.